Malaria used to be one of the biggest killers of African children until a Chinese scientist discovered a drug to treat the disease. Tu Yu Yu received the 2015 Nobel Prize for Medicine for her discovery. Let's take a look at the impact the drug therapy has had on curbing malaria in Africa. Uh, it is for malaria uh, vaccine, actually. Honestly, I don't think I do. It's an additive used to make a drug for malaria. An antidote for malaria. Is it the malaria medicine? Drug that is used to actually cure malaria. It's a drug made of artemisia and quinine. A lot of people are being cured with this drug. This is a cure discovered by a Chinese uh, pharmacologist, and it is for fighting against malaria. China has launched a number of health assistance programs in Africa, atop the list, the control and treatment of malaria. The disease is Africa's number one killer and is widespread across sub-Saharan region. The World Health Organization said there were more than 500 million malaria cases worldwide in 2002, and over 60% of them occurred in Africa. Statistics show that every 30 seconds, an African child is killed by the menace. And the disease cost Africa an estimated 12 billion US dollars a year. But things took a favorable turn a decade later, though. In 2015, another WHO malaria control report said from 2002 to 2015, 620 million new malaria patients had been saved, and the death rate of the disease had fallen by 65%. So, why this remarkable change? The artemisinin combination therapy appears to be the answer. The artemisinin, also known as Qinghao Su, was discovered by Chinese chemist Tu Youyou. It is recognized by the WHO as the most advanced drug for malaria treatment. For her discovery, Tu received the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, jointly with other two scientists. However, many in need of artemisinin combination therapies face daunting challenges. Due to the WHO's centralized purchasing and the monopoly of Western enterprises, it is close to impossible for Chinese artemisinin-based drug companies to enter Africa. That is not only a loss for China, but also a grave setback for Africa. Hundreds of thousands of Africa's poorest people remain the most vulnerable to malaria, and they cannot afford the expensive medications currently in the market. Recently, the Chinese government held joint efforts with several African countries, including Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia, and Uganda. They are trying to strengthen cooperation in the area of medical care and public health. The move aims to facilitate access to medical services, reduce medical costs, and establish affordable and sustainable medical care systems in African countries.